So let's talk frames now. I just finished stretching my canvas for my beautiful picture and it needs a frame. And I want to make my own frame. My one problem is I live in a little town that does not have much choice for framing or molding. My only option is about is Home Depot pretty much. So I went wandering around Home Depot to see what I could find and I'll show you what I came up with and I think it's going to work really nice even with slim pickings. So my first thing I found in the trim department like where you get your baseboards or moldings and stuff like that I found this piece and it has lots all it has lots of little curves and texture to it but and I could just make my frame with this but I don't I think that's kind of plain. I wanted more to my be big beautiful picture. So I kept walking around and I found this piece that it's actually made for pictures. It's routered out right here so that a picture can go up against it. So this little trim piece has some texture and stuff. Too small for what I want, but if I stick it with this molding, it is the exact size to just fit in right here and it makes it bigger, more texture, beautiful. I also found this little trim piece. It just has some bumps and ridges. I think if I put it right here, it's just going to tie it all together and look really nice. So this is more of the effect that I want for my frame. So all I need to do is glue and clamp these together to prepare them for my frame. So I just put glue on my edge here and I will clamp it just like so. Same with this piece. I'm going to put glue and stick my clamp on it. And I'll just let those dry. I don't need to use any nails or anything, just the wood glue is strong enough, it'll hold those. And then I will be ready to cut my angles at the length that I need for my big frame. So next, putting the frame together is a question of a lot of people. And I know I've told you many a times about the Craig Jig, and I love the Craig Jig for framing. It will work perfectly for this. If you have big, thick moldings, it'll work just fine. So I'll show you how I use that. I just have some crap scrap pieces here to show you how it works. So this would be the corner of my frames, my 45 degree angles. So I take a board and the angle I'm going to put down against this. So if I was using this board, I would put my angle down against there. So there's my angle. I simply clamp it in and I go ahead and drill a couple pocket holes right there in my guide. Take it out. Now I have my pocket holes. I simply can take my 45s, put some glue on it, and I have holes that I can put my screws in. I usually will clamp this down on the table, put my screws in, screw it all together, and my frames put together. Now you run into problems when you are, let's say you find some molding that's really thin with texture, I can't stick screws in or they pop out the front. Or maybe I'm making a small frame such as like a 1x2. If I, this one, I actually laid in and I tried to do my pocket hole and I can see it on the edge because it drilled out right there and it's going to be going in the very center. It's just not going to work for my 1x2. So I'm going to show you another solution that I love and it's I found on the internet this picture frame jig and I've also seen like on YouTube and stuff you can make your own jig if you want. I found this one for very cheap and it's so simple. What it is, is I cut my frame the right length and everything. 
and it's just held together by glue. So I put my wood glue in. Before I put my wood glue, I'm gonna, I can move these to the size I want. Let's say I wanna make an eight by 10. I'm gonna bring it in, each one of these in, to make it smaller for an eight by 10. But this one is a really big frame. So I pull it out here, put glue on all my corners, and then these orange pieces just hold my picture frame at their 90 degrees and they're great. Then once I have it all in, I just start twisting this. And by twisting this, it tightens everything all together. So I twist this as tight as I can and it's going to suck these corners together and then I just leave it for the glue to dry. And when the glue's dry, I just untwist it and I have a picture frame. And I love it because I don't have to worry about screws or nails popping through or anything. In fact, that's what I did for my big canvas frame. I have it here. I just took it out of my jig and very simple. Once I take it out of my jig, I fill it with some putty on these corners and sand it down. And then I'll just have to paint it and stick my canvas in. Just like so. And it will be all done. And I think that it's going to be beautiful. So if you have any questions or want some more ideas, be sure to go check out my blog, thelumberlady.com. I'm also on Pinterest and Facebook and Instagram, and I have a lot more videos on YouTube. So be sure to go check it out, and we'll see you later.